The biggest contentious issues in America right now have to be abortion and gay marriage. Mm -hmm. Quite frankly, there are some people saying that there is no compromise here, that there, you can't have it on that. But after reading the book and going through a lot of your ideas and your thinkings, I believe there is a, a compromise here to be well, had. Well, of course there is. Um, you know, people have to be willing to understand that not everybody thinks the same way that they do. And what they have to be willing to do is engage in conversation. I talk a lot about getting rid of political correctness and replacing it with civil discourse. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, for instance, uh, let, let's take gay marriage. Um, a lot of people say, well, Carson's a homophobe because he believes that marriage is between a man and a woman. Uh, that's ridiculous. Um, you know, yes, I do believe that it's between a man and a woman, but I don't believe that anybody gets to change the definition of something that is a societal pillar and has been there for thousands of years. If they want to form some other kind of relationship and call it something else, I don't have any problem with that. I don't think I can impose my will on any two consenting adults. They can do what they want to do. I'm not going to try to stop them from doing that. But they don't get to change the definition. And as I said in the book, it's sort of like a new group of mathematicians. They come along and they say, two plus two is five. And the traditionalists say, no, it's four. It's always been four. It always will be four. And the new ones say, no, we insist that it's five. So the, the, the traditionalists say, OK, I'll tell you what. For you, it can be five. We're keeping it as four. And the new ones say, no, no, it has to be five for you. And if it's not, then you're a mathist or, or a mathophobe. You know? And uh, you know, basically, that's the situation we find ourselves in.